you ever thought about getting a cheap Chinese alternative to Stream Deck for editing usage? Well, I got one so you don't have to. Let's talk about it in this video after the intro. <laughs> well, hello there and welcome to my video. It's gonna be a bit different kind of video from my usual gaming content. I've been using the Stream Deck for editing for a month now. I don't really like the way the buttons feel when you really start pushing them a lot. So I really thought to myself, there has to be a better way. Started Googling around for uh, my options. I came across a lot of like custom macro pads that you have to make yourself, but I really wanted to something rebuilt with uh, with some kind of software. I was looking for a small keyboard with the mechanical keys because I knew those would feel pretty good when it comes to like editing. Then I found this Chinese store with a lot of different options for macro pads. Exactly what I was looking for. You have to be a bit careful and read the reviews on these. Find something that has like a mostly five stars. And from this website, I found one that had a really good reviews. It's called a uh, Sciopad. It's a macro pad with 16 keys and RGB. It also came with this kind of uh, see-through caps so you can put your own pictures in it and it was only 30 euros. Okay, I'm gonna be installing the uh, see-through keycaps with the pictures and then I'm gonna show you how it looks like. And here we have it with my custom-made keycaps. I'm definitely gonna print out like proper ones at some point but he's gonna do it now. I really like that they give you these see-through things. This is my layout for Sony Vegas that I'm using, but it works with any editing software, I think. And now we can check it out the software that the, the macro pad has. They give you a piece of paper that has a link to downloading a zip, zip file. Then you unzip the file, you have this folder. You have these things here. Click the, the windows, you click it, it opens it in a browser like this. Then you can just search for the device. It comes up as the SIO device here. You connect it and boom, you're in. You have different options here. Uh, this is like the key, key layout here. Here you can pick all the, uh, the bindings. You have multiple pages here that you can do. They give you options to, to change the lighting, which can be pretty handy because if you're doing multiple pages, you can set up one page with certain light and then you would know like which, which page are you using. You have different color palettes. You can do scripting, which is pretty pretty interesting. I, I haven't played around it with too much, but it's you can basically record any kind of a keyboard strokes, which is pretty cool in my opinion. You have strings, you have a password feature, no use for me. I don't really know why that's there. You have the device name. I'm not sure what this option is. I have no clue. And then you can back it up. But yeah, I think for most people, it's gonna be binding your keys here and then setting up the lighting. Those are like the main options. My my personal plan is to use it for editing only, which means that I'm only needing like these binds. Obviously, if you use it as a stream deck, then it's gonna be a bit more. You have to like, bind everything in your OBS and stuff like that. I would say the uh, the software is pretty easy to use actually, but the guide is in complete Chinese. I can't understand anything on it. So I would say it's a very basic kind of macro pad, but definitely for this use case, it's, it's suitable, I think. So yeah, you can go into these keys, you can click it, and then you can have a modifier key, which are left control, shift, all these keys. Oh, you can do a general key, which we're gonna put U on this one, which is ungroup on Vegas. And then for this one, we're gonna do um, the group, which is G. And the this one is gonna be a control plus L, which is the auto ripple. You have all these options when you hit a key, and there's a there's a bunch of different uh, things you can actually do. You have a bunch of Chinese here, which I'm not I'm not sure what these are, but plenty of options here. You can use the macro pad for. SW is the pages, so if I go here, I put it level 1, I confirm that. So now, if I hit that button, it's gonna swap me to the uh, the first page here. And then I have to have a uh, other SW here to level 1, so I can swap between these pages. So here I actually made two pages now. Uh, one is gonna be red colored, and then when you click this one, it goes purple. So this way you could have multiple pages. And you could definitely use this as a stream deck. Kind of alternative so i've been using the macro pad for around two weeks now i would say it's definitely worth the price the keys feel amazing compared to using stream deck for editing and i could see you using this as a cheaper alternative to stream deck i do still see some value having the uh, the screens it makes it a li little bit easier for sure 
you can swap the keys around and you're not so stuck with the certain binds like in this one. I think the minus side would be the software. It's not very good. And also the fact that finding these is going to be pretty hard. There's a lot of ones that actually don't work. You have to be very careful. Read the reviews. Go for the ones that actually have five stars if you plan on buying one. And there we have it. My quick overview of getting a macro pad from China. If you found this video useful, uh, I would really appreciate if you leave it a like. Maybe even subscribe to my channel. I would love to do more videos like this. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good one. And we'll see you in the next one. I'm out.